Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to replace the casing of a Fluke 289 True RMS multimeter. See how all these scratches and this uh, these scratches won't go away unless uh, I replace the whole casing because this is a part uh, of the uh, case. It's not an individually removable component. The uh, front LCD protective glass is a part of the whole front case and here's how we replace it All right let's get started so this unit um, only has four six screws uh, to replace so I have the replacement brand new one as you can see one two three four five six these are the six screws that we need to open in order to get to that we have to open this and remove the batteries. For this, we need a flat screwdriver. Put it in the unlock mode. You already know this one, how to remove the battery. So this whole thing is, is a battery cover, comes out. And here are our screws, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we need to open all of them. Let's get started on that. Okay, all the six screws are out. We take out all the six screws. We put it in a safe place. So we are putting the six screws in a safe place. We are done with the screwdriver for now. Now we will open this. It's just, now most electronics, they have hooks like this that will hold the upper and bottom case together. Not in this case, there are no hooks. So you have to just pry it open like this. Maybe get a little bit of help from, from a flat head screwdriver. And, and voila, we have the outer case replaced. Now, you see this right here? This is your, uh, uh, battery terminals these do not come with a new case as you can see the new case doesn't have the battery terminals so you have to transfer these battery terminals to that one so what does that mean it needs to be very careful with this it's don't discard it yet because it has some useful components and useful parts in it in order to take this out we need a much slimmer flat screwdriver in order to get it out. And voila, we have first one out and we have the second one out. Is this trash now? Not yet. You see this foam? This doesn't come with a new case either. It doesn't have the foam. So we have to utilize this if possible. This is a glue type of foam. It's like a self-adhesive foam, so to speak. And let's see if we can utilize this to be reused. And we got it out. And we need to put it in here. There's an indentation for it. That's exactly where it goes, where the indentation is. Which is not quite center. It's a little off center. See the indentation? That indentation is off center. And that's where... That's where it's gonna go on this one. Okay. Are we done with this one? Yeah, most part for the most part we're done. We don't we don't need that. I mean it's a back case, you don't have to throw it away. Because remember, there's nothing wrong with our back case. The problem was the front case had scratches on the LCD. So you could use it or sell it as a used back case. Now what we are doing is we are opening this part, the new one. You see just snap open. Then we will put our battery holders or I should say battery terminals because they are not battery holders so there our battery terminals went in place without a sweat make sure that these are nice in place nice and 
neatly seated properly and not sticking up. The new case has a protective plastic on the side, as you can see right here, which protects it from accidental scratch. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it there because they are so easily scratched. I'm not going to remove it. Now it's the time to remove this and put it in the, in the other one. Now let's see if we can do this. First, we have to open this and that to remove the front uh, faceplate. Okay, let's do that. We are removing the front faceplate. Okay, so we remove the front faceplate and voila, this came off. Be careful, be very careful. You see this uh, rotating switch? It, you need to make sure this matches that and it, so it's not in the wrong position as far as when you're putting it back because if you put that in the wrong position and the knob is in the wrong position, then you would be in voltage while you're actually in current or something like that. So you have to be very careful this you have to pull out. You see how I pull this one out? Let me zoom into that one. This right here. You just pull it out. These four screws must come out. These are different screws. All the screws that we had taken out so far, they were self-tapping screws. This screw is not self-tapping screw, so be careful to pay attention to that. And there we go. We have this out, as you can see. This is part of this. You see that? So now we have to be very careful not to put it in the wrong direction, because you see this right here? This arrow matches this arrow. So let's leave it at the same position, okay? This is our LCD screen, which we take out. And there you go. So the, instead of twist, twi pushing these together, it was easier to put this underneath and snap it open. So be careful with that. There you go. Put that in the same direction, that pointing towards that one. And let's see if now this will come out. This will come out easily. See how easily it came off? Okay. I'll put this one also in the same direction, pointing this way. All of these, because you don't want the, the thing to be in the, the knob to be in the wrong position when, when the motherboard is in a, a, a different setting, you know. Let's open the front face now. Be careful because the buttons can fall. Actually, let me open this this way. See, all these will fall. These could fall. So you have to do it like, like very carefully. Like, like open it like this. You simply pry it out because these could fall. This could fall. And underneath, let me show you something. Buttons are individually underneath. See, they're individual buttons. So that's what needs to go here. Like this. It goes right here. Correct. And we put this guy in the exact same position. And we put this one, snap it back in. Okay. Putting this together is very simple. If you notice right here, there's a little notch. Let me zoom in. If you notice here, there's a little notch. Okay. That little notch goes into this little notch. Okay, that's simple. So align that. What I'm going to do in order for me to be uh, to to be able to tell where this is, so I'm going to 
draw that's where the notch is on this one and I'll make sure the notch is there so what I did is I marked the notch here this notch this should match that and I should be good to go okay so now it's in place now I have to widen these so they don't come off now I'm good so I had to put it in firmly and then widen these so they don't come off let's zoom out the screen just sits there let me see if there's a screen housing oh yeah we have a screen frame which we need to take out this is the screen frame and then screen just gonna sit there on that frame okay so after I snap this in it's important to adjust this exactly where this is which is 11 o'clock position this is also 11 o'clock position now we put this see these foams like spongy shape thing that presses the screen down so that goes on this side like this Let's push pushes the screen down on top of this you're gonna put the motherboard like I said make sure 11 o'clock matches okay now put the self tapping screw here and another self tapping screw after we put this here okay first we put this one just to secure it in place now we close this puppy you simply push it like push it down All right, let me see if you get a better look from this angle you push it down nice and easily so you don't damage it and now we put this guy right here another self tapping screw these four, four screws are not self tapping they're standard regular screws One last one. Okay, every one of them are in. Everything looks nice and neat. Cables are tight. Now, remember these that we put? Now they are going to be hitting these two spots, which is the power. Okay, now we will put the regular screws, I mean the K screws. The K screws are also self tapping screws, so keep that in mind. So these screws are all the same size. You don't have to worry about them being interchanged because they are the same size. Same length, same uh, thickness, everything is the same. 
I don't think. Now, we put back the battery cover. The battery, these, you know how to put the battery cover. I mean, you've done, you've changed the batteries a few times on this. I shouldn't teach you how to put the battery cover in. Okay. Make sure the lock, picture of the lock matches the arrow, not the unlock. And this should be ready. And let's see. There it is, true RMS, multimeter. We are in ohms, millivolts. And there you go. Everything is in the correct position. And we're good to go. Thank you for watching. I hope uh, this video was educational and not boring. And if you have any questions, please comment down below. Oh, one question I'm sure you will have is that where am I going to find these? I had to search the web cr like crazy to find this. And finally, I found it uh, on eBay from a seller in China uh, at a reasonable price. It wasn't cheap, $90 or something for the front and back, ca back case. But when you have a you know $500 meter and you need to be able to see the screen with all these scratches, I couldn't see anything see those scratches so I had to change it okay thank you for watching please make sure to like and subscribe